Hello there everyone, Joseph here, and welcome back to some more Isle 2 Battle of Kuban here with Dmitry Samanova. Yes, we're back here. I'm ready to rock and roll again. Yet again, we are doing a escort ground attack plane mission. So let's go ahead and uh, just jump right into it. Alrighty then, here we are. As you can see here, uh, pretty much in the same area that uh, we were last time. Last time we were over here to the south of this uh, airfield. North of uh, Kramiskivia. Kramis Kramis uh, yeah, uh, I, don't <laughs> I don't know. Again, I don't know Russian. Um, I think actually we've hit this once before. We've escorted aircraft to this area once before. Uh, so yeah, kind of a similar area. Let's real quick. Let's see what is our. Uh, it's not telling me my speed. That's fine. All right, so let's go ahead and set up our aircraft here. So we will leave it with the. Um, well, well, we'll grab these two, <laughs> first off. And then, let's see, fuel, I'm probably going to drop it, let's say, to 80%. And we are going to use the Canadian skin again, because this seems to have brought us a little bit of luck. Uh, last mission, we were able to come home and not lose our prop and have to, <laughs> have to land out in the field. Um, so we were able to bring the aircraft home, so I think we're going to go with... Uh, the Canadian skin yet again. I think I'm also going to tempted to change my gun convergence, though it it's not that bad. The range is set to. Uh, I don't have I been. I'm thinking back into the the um, uh, not last mission, but the mission before we ran into the duck. And we were at close range and we were just spreading the machine gun across both wings and we weren't really uh, converging on a central location. But I think with the fighters that's not much to worry about because they seem to be a little bit ahead of us. Uh, yeah, you know, actually I am going to drop it. I'm going to drop it to about 300 meters. So 100 meters less uh, than before. Real quick, what does the Merlin 45 do? I don't see any difference here. Okay, anyways, we'll go with that. I think, actually, actually, I think, uh, or is that with the, um, LA-5? I'm actually not going to take the Merlin 45 this time around. We're going to see, let's see if there's any difference in the performance. Uh, but let's go ahead and accept that and, uh, jump into the game. All right, as usual, here we are, and I am actually number two on this one. Wow, we got, we got promoted! <laughs> not really, but, uh, kind of. Let's drop that to 80. We gotta wait for our escort planes to fly over. That's why uh, one is shooting off a bunch of flares. As well as the uh, ground crew over there. Waiting for them to say, hey, you can take off now. Look at which direction they're gonna come in at. Uh, let's open up this radiator at 10 so that we don't overcook the engine. And I'm not seeing these planes. Oh well. We'll just wait for two to take off. Once we see him speeding up, then we'll speed up ourselves. Oh, there they are. What are they? They're ground attacks, so they should be IL 2s. And as a matter of fact, they look like IL 2s. I do not see a second engine, so they are not a Peshka or a A20. So there is that. So we are rolling, per usual. And up, up, and away we go. Let's drop the throttle back just a tad so we don't overcook the engine in boost mode. I'll tell you one thing. I see the difference. At 90. Uh, we're not in a boost mode, where in the Merlin 45s we were in a boost mode um, all the way until about 80... No, actually that's about the same. Uh, 88 when it dropped off, so never mind. Again, we'll see what the difference is with this uh, without the Merlin 45. 
But anyways, uh, we're gonna form up here and join the uh, the ground attack guys, and I will see you all when we reach El Target. So until then, stay tuned. And welcome back, everyone. We're in the thick of it. Well, I don't know if we are in the thick of it or not. There's callouts for fighters around. Uh, I have yet to see any. But I did see all my guys dive down a little bit, so... Let's see if we can find this fight going on. See anything behind me? Triple A is going off, but I think that might be. Um, no, actually, we're on the front. Okay. Well, if it's firing that way, then it's possibly enemy that's flying towards it. I'm lost, guys! <laughs> that doesn't look good. Oh, here we go. Here we go, and I can see some things flying around. Oh yeah, there's quite a few things over there. These have got to be friendlies, and those got to be baddies. One right in front of me actually looks kind of like a Spitfire. Those look like 109s. Well, I lost those guys in the clouds. I see ground fire coming up. But that's probably for... Friendly planes flying over the IL-2s that we have out and about. There we go, some stuff in front of me. Hard to see in the clutter. I barely caught it. I lost him again. There we go. Whoa, Nelly. Is that? That's eh, a 109. All right. The wing shape for some reason was throwing me off. Oh, got a couple hits. friends flew by and I lost him from that all right let's deal with his friend oh 
Holy cow! They are not playing today, are they? Alright, I'm completely lost. I just flew into a pack of aircraft. Uh... That's a friendly Spitfire. Something went down behind me. I saw something up here in front of me. I was in a turn, but I lost it. It looked like a like a 109 on an IL-2, but I could have been wrong. All right, let's be smart about this. Get some altitude. Aisle two. Aisle two, aisle two. Two. All right, what are you? Where are you? Well, I guess I'll just hang around the aisle too until something pops up. fast over here but I don't know if it's a spit or a, a 109 or was it an IL-2 getting into formation <laughs> that's a spit That's not uh, friendly. No, that's a 109. The Spitfire chasing him. Did he go down? It looked like he went under me. The friendly. Oh, there he is. Well, oh, this ground clutter is killing me. There he goes.
help this guy out if he doesn't get it. Oh, hello. Alright, well, while he's chasing him, I'm going to go after this guy over here, then. Does that look like a 109? This guy here, that's a 109. Turn for me, baby. Turn. Well, let's see here. <laughs> that was a dream. They're much faster than I am. I'm not gonna be able to catch this guy. I needed him to turn or something. It looks like he's flying away from the combat zone, so... I will then turn around and fly away. Maybe that will bait him to come back this way. Right on cue. Oh no, I lost him again. Well, there he is. I think that's him right there. Man, come on now. <laughs> oh, there he is. If that is him. Swinging in under the over the trees right here. Right there. Close. He got a nick, I think. Awesome. But then I saw that other aircraft falling down. Apparently, in black smoke. I don't know if he got popped by a friendly or not. So I know there was this guy up here. That looks like a that looks like a baddie. I think that might be him. <laughs> the black trailing smoke coming after me. Brave man, brave man. Oh no, did I put myself in a really bad situation? I think I did. I think I'm actually, well, I think I'm surrounded by uh, two and a half 109s. The one that's trailing black smoke and then there, that one that was higher. This guy will not give up, will he? Because there's those two guys there. waiting for his buddies to pounce. I wonder what happened to this guy, why he's black smoking so badly. I don't think anyone hit him. Well, he was making a run on me, I think.
I need this guy to go away so that I can work on the other two. Help! I'm gonna need some assistance over here. I can't run, I can't hide. These guys will just follow me. I have to fight, sadly. Alright, I should have went with a Merlin 45 engine. <laughs> Comes this guy again. stall and smash myself to the ground trying to just keep myself behind these guys. You get a snapshot on this one. Ah! My engine's cooking! I'm cooking! Well, at least I got him turning in the same direction. <laughs> Alright, this guy seems to be having a little bit more trouble than the guy on, on uh, smoking there. might be able to. Nope, I'm not going to be able to. But, that might put me in this... here. Alright guys, you can go away now. You can go home. Go home. I'll go home myself. <laughs> uh. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ah! Friends? No. Probably not. Well, gentlemen, it was an honor. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I'm down and I think I'm behind enemy lines and when I yes, I am. Ooh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get rescued. All right. So, uh, let's let's uh jump back to the debriefing screen and uh yeah, let's see what happens. Wah, 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 yep. Son of a bee. Mission failed, and we were captured. Ugh. I couldn't do anything. Oh, <laughs> uh, I got dragged off down here to the south by that one guy, and... 
that's that's what ended it there. Oh man, that stinks. That really stinks. What a nine G two. Got me. Oh, that's what I get for not taking the Merlin forty fives. Son of a B. <laughs> Anywho, and yep, we're considered mission missing in action. Oh man. That really sucks. <laughs> that really sucks. Uh, we were captured. Uh, looks like uh, Havo Filato Filativ was killed in action. Who's our uh, commander? He's not our commander anymore. Interesting. Anywho, well, I guess he's our. He was our commander. <laughs> Oh uh, man, that really sucks. That really does suck. Cause we were what we were rolling, rolling for a good bit there. So I get for not taking the Merlin forty-five. I probably could have ended that fight a lot longer. So for a grand total of eight thousand, ten thousand rubles. Order of the Red Star, Battle of Merit, Battle of Courage, and the Yellow Wound Stripe. With nine kills, nine air-to-air -air kills, and one ground kill. That would be it for Dmitry Simonova. Thank you all for watching as always. If you like these videos, don't forget to hit the like button. If you're new here, want to see more of this stuff, don't forget to subscribe. And we will be back with another career. Stay tuned for that, and I'll catch you all next time.